So the reason that we sing mantra. So what I feel and what I experience is that the Sanskrit words, they are enriched with the divine presence. Like presence or God or light or love or nature, whatever you want to call it, is it's almost impossible to put any words to it. It's like the ungraspable. It's, it's something you cannot touch. You, you cannot put any words to it. You, you sense it. You feel it. It's a knowing. It's a, a deeper inner knowing. But these Sanskrit mantras, these, these texts, they are enriched with the divine presence. And our voice is like a bridge between our inner world and, and the outer world. So it's a transmission tool that we use to put into manifestation. So whatever is going on in our inner world, in, in our head, in our bodies, the way that our organs are reflecting and giving out signals, that sometimes when we give that to the mind, it's just a lot of words and, and then a lot of emotions and sometimes it's just all the organs in play. And when we give words to that, we bring into manifestation. So if you have a lot of unresolved feelings, emotions, traumas within ourselves, we constantly put that out there with the words, with our thoughts and the voice that is being used to transmit that into our outer world. So when we sing mantras, we bring in the divine presence within because our voice goes both ways. It reflects to our outer world and it also brings in to our inner world. So when we sing the Divine Presence through the Sanskrit, through the mantras and from our sacred heart, we fill up our whole system with presence and what happens is that we create space within ourselves. And that will be the feeling of ecstatic right and light and the love and the and all the good feelings that you feel when you when you do kirtan when you sing mantras especially together and the space that's being created is also a space for the darkness it's not only for the light it's like all these un unresolved or all these energies that are hiding in a corner in the darkness that you put away because back then you didn't feel the space, you didn't have the the, the, the capacity to to be with it. So your beautiful complex body was like, okay, well, let's just put it here. And then later in life, you gotta have to deal with it, you know, because of triggers from the outside. It's time to start facing these energies. So when we do the practice of kirtan, of mantra singing, we fill up our body with spaciousness. And then don't be surprised when it starts to maybe be very uncomfortable when there's a lot of emotions coming, you know. So you've been feeling incredible just a couple of hours later, you know, there's so much spacious, spaciousness within. And then at one point it's like, and then you're not looking and here we go, you know, sadness, emotions, or you're being triggered or something is coming up for you to feel through. And that's when the healing part begins, you know, the sound healing. So we're not only just sitting there singing with each other, you know, to be all about love, light and bliss. 
We're embracing both sides. So just imagine the power we have within ourselves to transmute all these energies within and also for the collective. But a generation before us and a generation that is coming and already here. <laughs>